The kind Patreon folks have spoken, and they've spoken about Tonic, if you could only see. I've opted to do the acoustic version because it's lovely. You're going to love it, and I'll bet it goes right along with the electric version anyways. But, speaking of Patreon folks who have spoken, I hope you don't mind if I take just a moment to speak thanks to the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Nick Sells, DeFerry Esquire, and my brother from another knoll, Mr. Patrick Fitzhenry. Folks, thank you very, very, very much for your support. And if you would like to join that crazy crew, the link, of course, will be in the description. P.S. I will put a link to the exact performance to which I am referring in the description, but I'll bet they're pretty much all the same. Step one is capo one, and we're going to A minor. This, by the way, is a song that starts with the chorus, much like American Pie. A minor. Then C, but more specifically C with a G in the bass. Then G, and on this G, he messes around with the G string 2nd fret. You could mess around with the D string 2nd fret too if you like. Or, and then here's a chord, it's G7 with an F in the bass, which amounts to that. Why is it a G7? Because F is the note that makes G7 G7, so we could put an F anywhere in this G, including in the bass, and it would still be a G7, it's just we have to call it G7 with an F in the bass. And then back to regular G. So here is our chorus. A minor. C with a G in the bass. G with noodles. G7. Back to regular G. Do it again and again and again. For the part I'm calling the interlude, it's the part in the studio recording where it goes wow, wow, wow. It's A minor. And then just take your middle and your ring finger and move them up to the sixth actual fret, fifth fret relative to the capo. You're gonna remember this because it's like where you'd play a C power chord, um, but we're leaving the A string open and also the E and the B strings. How magical is that? Then it's what would be a G bar chord in its entirety, except we're gonna leave the E and the B strings open. And then same thing down at F. So, a minor, magical chord, special G, special F. And then we're into the verse. So you got your reasons, etc., etc. We're gonna start with a G relative the capo power chord. So third fret relative the capo, fourth actual fret. And we're gonna slide two frets up to A on this rhythm. Twice. And then same kind of rhythm, but we're going to special F and we're gonna hammer on our pointer finger onto that E string. And then we just did C with a G in the bass earlier. It's the same thing, but two frets higher. D with an A in the bass. For the saying you love section, he uses a particular finger technique here, and I normally don't stress these things, but there's a certain zen here. Start with A suspended two, meaning open B string, but use these fingers because he's gonna add his pinky finger to the B string third fret. And then it's gonna be C add nine, but we're gonna leave the E string open and we're gonna use the wrong fingers to G6, it's called G6 because it's got an E in it, same open E string. And that's that part, so here we go. A sus 2 to sus 4, C at 9, and G6. Back into the chorus. The end of the second to last chorus is a little different. The second to last chorus comes right before the last saying you love section. It's gonna be all normal until the last measure and then there's a little interlude. It's gonna be A minor, just like normal. C with a G in the bass, just like normal. G, just 
just like normal, but then E minor, and then two beats each, E major, special F, G, A minor, before we go into the saying you love section. So here we go, last line of the second to last chorus. minor, then, into the saying you love section, and so on, and so forth. And the very last thing there is to tell you is at the very end, in the last chorus, it doesn't end with the G7 with an F in the bass back to G situation, it ends on special F. So the very last line will be A minor. C with a G in the bass, G, and end it on special F. Special F, very different from special K. What did you have for breakfast? Normally I have oatmeal, but today I had an egg sandwich. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.